Welcome to Profits Beat. Our team provides you with back-tested indicators that have a track record of real earnings. Plus, we'll guide you through trading basics to build a solid foundation. Don't miss out on our daily updates. Hit the subscribe button and ring the bell icon to stay informed and empowered on your trading journey. I recently asked ChatGPT for advice on how to turn $100 into $10,000 quickly through trading. At first, it gave me some basic tips like focusing on assets that change in value a lot, using charts to make decisions, and sticking to a plan. But these tips were pretty general, so I got more specific. I asked ChatGPT to help me come up with a good trading strategy using a special computer program that uses artificial intelligence to make predictions about stocks. This program was becoming really popular because it could be a big help in trading. And my main goal was to make $10,000 as fast as possible. ChatGPT gave me a detailed plan that used this AI program along with other things to make smart trading decisions. While the plan was a good starting point, I made some changes to make it work better for me. So in this video, I am going to share the same indicators the rules that I use to make money. So don't skip any part of the video because every point is important. Now, let's open the charts and add the indicators. The strategy includes three free TradingView tools. I'll explain how each indicator works as we add them one by one. The first indicator is the machine learning Knearest Neighbors based strategy. This indicator analyzes historical market data and predicts future price movements based on patterns. It uses the Knearest Neighbors algorithm to classify whether a stock price is likely to go up or down based on historical data. It provides buy and sell signals based on its analysis. Based on its classification, the strategy generates buy and sell signals. For instance, if the algorithm classifies the asset as likely to go up, it might trigger a buy signal, suggesting that it's a good time to purchase the asset. Conversely, if the algorithm predicts a price decrease, it might generate a sell signal, indicating that it's a suitable time to sell the asset or even short it. If we use this indicator alone, we might not get the perfect trade as this indicator is giving some fake signals like these. So I asked ChatGPT to provide another indicator so that I can avoid some fake signals. So now let us add the second indicator in order to avoid these fake signal. Go to indicator section and type for EMA ribbon, add it to your favorites to use it easily next time. The EMA ribbon consists of multiple EMAs with different time periods plotted on a price chart. It helps identify the direction and strength of a trend in the market. A sloping ribbon indicates an uptrend or downtrend. When the EMAs in the ribbon are sloping upward and arranged in a specific order, it suggests an uptrend. Traders may interpret this as a bullish signal, indicating that the asset's price is likely to continue rising. Conversely, when the EMAs in the ribbon are sloping downward and arranged in a specific order, it suggests a downtrend. This is interpreted as a bearish signal, indicating that the asset's price is likely to continue falling. Using these slopes, we can avoid the fake signals that we encountered in the chart. Let's talk about some basic rules to help us make better decisions when we look at our chart with the second indicator. If the line on the chart is going up, it's usually a good time to buy and not a good time to sell. Look at the red signals, they're the ones to avoid when the line is going up. By doing this, we can make a lot of money. On the other hand, when the line is going down, we should stay away from the green signals. This way, we can make good money by not following the red signals when the line is going down. Following these simple rules can help us make smarter decisions in trading and make more money while avoiding losses. Even though these two indicators are working fine, the chat GPT is suggesting another indicators for us so that we can get more precise signal and can confirm it. So now go to the indicator section and type for RSI. Add it to favorites and to your chart. The relative strength index, RSI, is a simple tool used in trading to see if a stock or asset is likely overbought or oversold. It gives a number between 0 and 100 based on recent price changes. If the RSI is high, above 70, it suggests the asset might be overbought, and it could be a good time to sell. If it's low, below 30, it suggests the asset might be oversold, and it could be a good time to buy. Now we have added all the three indicators to our chart, let us see the rules, and test them in reality how they are working. To make a smart move in trading, we look at these three indicators. 
First, our machine learning tool gives a blue signal. Second, the line on the chart is going up. Third, the RSI number is below 70. When all three of these things happen, it's a good time to buy. We see this in the chart, the blue signal is there, the line is going up, and the RSI is below 70 and we should avoid the false red signals. So, we decide to buy, and guess what? We made a lot of money. It's as simple as that. Now, let's talk about selling. When our machine learning tool gives a red signal, the line on the chart is going down we should avoid the fake green signals, and the RSI number is above 30, it's a good time to sell. Look at this chart, the machine learning tool shows a red signal, the line is going down, and the RSI is above 30. We decided to sell, and again, we made a bunch of money. This works. I've used this strategy for other trades too, and it has brought in a lot of profit. I did some testing with it, and even with a small amount of money to start, it worked really well. If you want to try it out, I suggest practicing with paper trading first to get the hang of it. You can do this too and make money like I did. Before I go, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit the bell icon if you're new here. That way, you won't miss out on more videos like this. In our next video, we're going to share another fantastic strategy that has a track record of making people a lot of money. Stay tuned for more updates. Remember to give the strategy a try on a paper account and don't skip the forward testing phase. It's essential to manage risk wisely. Thanks for watching, and if you want to explore more indicators, check out the playlist.